In the following tutorial, we will cover six common file types in Source SDK and Left 4 Dead authoring tools. They are BSP, VMT, VTF, NAV, VPK, and VMF. Let me cover briefly the folder structure where your Steam is installed. By default, it installs inside your program file C directory under Steam. For Source SDK for games such as Counter Strike, Day of Defeat, Half Life 2, you will find all these folders and including the source SDK folder inside the Steam apps and your Steam ID. If you want to look into Left 4 Dead authoring tool folder structure, you have to navigate inside Steam, Steam apps, inside the comments directory. So here if I navigate inside my Steam apps and my Steam ID folder, here I have my Counter Strike, Day of Defeat, Half Life 2, and if I go inside source SDK content folder, here I'll find all the files and all the folders that I need specifically for those games. So if I go inside Counter-Strike, here I'll have my map source files and this is where all of my source maps are stored when I save them from Hammer Editor. Let's talk about the very first one which is BSP. BSP is the file extension for your maps and your levels. This is the compiled map file. This is when you are working inside Hammer Editor and you compile the map file, BSP map gets created. The BSP file is what the game recognizes and that's what you will be playing when you launch up the game and you launch your compiled map. So if I go inside my Counter-Strike source folder, I go under Counter-Strike and if I navigate to maps, here I will find the BSP files. These are the files is what the game recognizes as a map file and this is what gets loaded into the game. And if we navigate into the Steam Apps common folder and if we go into Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead folder inside here we have maps and here are all the BSP files along with other files that are required for the map to be loaded inside the game. When you compile your map inside the hammer source the BSP map file automatically gets generated and it gets put inside the Left 4 Dead or whichever game you are creating your map for, it gets put into that map folder directory under maps. Next one is VMT. Now VMT and VTF go hand in hand. VMT is the Valve material type. This is a text file that contains all the information for source to simulate the surface of your textures. And VTF is the actual valve texture format. This is the file that is used by the source engine and this is what you see inside the game. So VMT and VTF usually get created together. So here are VMT and VTF files that I have on my system. Here is the text file VMT and if I open that up with a notepad this is a text file that looks for the texture and the surface property and the next one is the VTF file. This is the visual file that we see inside the editor and inside the game. And if I open this up, in order for you to open the VTF files or create VTF files, you need VTF edit. This is what I use. And this is a free program you can download. You can just Google search VTF edit. And this is where you can look and create as well as open all the VTF files. Next one is the navigation file. The navigation file is used for bots. It is the walkable space inside the level. Again, if we navigate to our Counter-Strike folder, if we go inside the Maps folder, here we have various navigation files that get included inside along with the BSP file. Here I navigated inside my Left 4 Dead Maps folder and here you can see that pretty much every file, every BSP file, has a navigation file along with it. Next one is VPK. VPK is the Valve pack file. It's the uncompressed archive used to package content, such as campaign files for Left 4 Dead 2. What a VPK file is, it's basically all the folders and the folder structure compressed into one single file so the player doesn't have to download various files and put them inside those directories. Here I am inside my Left 4 Dead 2 folder. If I navigate under add-ons, here I have various VPK files that contain the folder structure that the game recognizes that includes custom textures, custom models, navigation and BSP files and so on. 
So VPK is very useful when you are packaging custom content as well as various script files, various map files. All of them are archived into a single file. And our final six common file type is the VMF. VMF is the valve map file. This is the raw map file data. This is what you'll be opening and saving inside the hammer editor. This contains all the entities, all the geometry, everything that is required for you to build the environment and to work on the map. If you are working with Left 4 Dead 1 or 2, just navigate inside the Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, Left 4 Dead 1 or 2, and in there you'll find the SDK content folder. If you open that up, let's go under Deadline 2, and inside we have the map source. Here are the VMF files that we can open inside the editor. If you're working with source SDK, such as Counter-Strike, Half-Life, Episode 1 and 2, the original Half-Life 2, Day of Defeat, and so on, you'll have to navigate inside the source SDK content. Inside here is what, where you will find your Counter-Strike source and all the rest of the files for those specific games. So under Counter-Strike, if we go under Map Source, this is where we will find the VMF files being stored. Now these are the six common file types that you'll be working with when you are creating your maps. There are additional files such as VTX, MDL, PHY, ANI, VVD, QC, and SMD. And most of these are for custom models that get created and various file types that go along with your custom model. Now I won't be going over the custom model files in this tutorial that will be for later tutorials but just know that there are additional file types but the most common ones are going to be BSP, VMT, VTF, navigation files, VPK and VMF files.